This video is about perspectives, which are a great tool for limiting the data that you display to your users. And if you go to model perspectives, you see there's only one default. So let's create a new one. And there's just one button, new perspective. So let's click that and give it a name. So perspectives are as straightforward as just picking and choosing individual columns that you want from your already existing model. So you can slice it up by individual entities, and this includes columns uh, and measures that you can pick through here and, and pick what you want. And this is a great tool when you have maybe one really large model, but a couple different departments that really don't care about every column. They only care about a couple individual pieces. So you can slice it up accordingly and, and allow them to just work with that one. So I went through here and selected a few and just created what I call a simple perspective and calling it simple model. And if you select it here, it actually changes your view within Visual Studio and you can see what's being shown, which is much smaller in our case. Let's flip back. That gets out of whack a little bit, but that's okay. And let's save and deploy. So the actual functionality of this is it's not going to change the underlying measures or relationships. It's truly just changing or it's just limiting the columns that are selectable for a user. So we'll see this here. Let's connect. And instead of selecting the normal model, which is the whole cube, let's just select a simple model, which is that limited perspective we just made. Click through. And when we look at the field options, it, you can see it's only showing the ones we selected, only those few, which in certain scenarios is really all you need. Let's say you have something with a ton of accounting and operations work, but you want to limit just, let's say, the HR department. They, don't, they may not care about all of those things, so you can limit, limit it for them and give them something that's a little more user-friendly. And the last thing I'm going to do here is just open back up the full the full uh, cube just to show the difference. So let's connect again, but this time we will select model, which is our cube, the whole thing. And again, this includes everything compared to the perspective, which is just a few uh, of those columns. So that's it. Um, hopefully this is helpful and thanks for watching.